Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Thursday, November 7th, 2024. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with AEW Dynamite broadcast live last night on TBS from the SNHU Arena in Manchester, New Hampshire. In the main event, Ricochet and his partner Powerhouse Hobbs defeated Kanosuke Takeshita and Kyle Fletcher. After the match, a melee broke out with Fletcher attacking Hobbs and Ricochet, Mark Davis of Aussie Open confronting Fletcher, Adam Cole running into brawl with Takeshita, and Will Ospreay finally returning to clear the ring of the heels to end the show. In the opening promo segment, the Hurt Syndicate trio of MVP, Shelton Benjamin, and Bobby Lashley were confronted by Swerve Strickland, who demanded a match with Lashley at full gear. Here's the deal. AEW does not want Bobby Lashley's debut ruined. And you can understand that. But look at the face of Swerve. Bobby Lashley! Full gear. We'll see you there, kid. Wow, I didn't expect it to be quite that easy, but Schwartz Strickland called his shot and MVP readily agreeing. During another segment, Christian Cage confronted Hook during an in-ring promo from the Patriarchy. The match featuring Claudio Castagnoli and Pack against Darby Allin and Orange Cassidy was thrown out due to outside interference. Afterwards, John Moxley and Wheeler Yuta attacked Cassidy until the conglomeration made the save. In other results, the conglomeration beat the Learning Tree in a trios match, Adam Cole pinned Malachi Black, and Jamie Hayter topped Penelope Ford. NXT was broadcast live last night on USA Network from the former ECW Arena in Philadelphia. In the main event, the team of Zaria, Julia, Jordan Gray, Stephanie Vakur, and Kalani Jordan beat Roxanne Perez, Cora Jade, Fallon Henley, JC Jane, and Jasmine Nix. And there's the prodigy. Looking for Pop Rocks. Countered. Uh oh. Perez takes the ride. Come on, Roxanne. Into the cover. Come on, Roxanne. And Zaria just pinned the women's hey. champion. Who your winner? The team up. Stephanie Vacan, Jordan Grace, and Zaria! In an angle towards the end of the match, Zaria accidentally hit Grace with a spear. Bubba Ray Dudley had his first WWE match in eight years, teaming with NXT champion Trick Williams to defeat Rich Holland and Ethan Page. After the match, Devon Dudley emerged to help Williams and Bubba put Page through a table. Testify! Hell no! Also on the show, another ECW original, Nunzio, had his first WWE match in 16 years, falling in quick defeat to NXT North American champion Tony D'Angelo. Nunzio was accompanied by longtime ECW associate Tony Mamaluke. In other results, Jada Parker pinned Lola Vice in a hardcore match with Don Marie as referee, and Javon Evans pinned Wes Lee thanks to a distraction from Rob Van Dam. Lee had previously attacked RVD backstage earlier in the show. In WWE news, both Bruce Pritchard and Michael Hayes are away on temporary leave from the company, according to Fightful Select. Hayes has not been at TV for several weeks and is away for unspecified personal reasons. Pritchard's absence is due to a family matter. It is reported that both are expected back and that their absences have nothing to do with Vince McMahon. Hayes has been with WWE as an on-air talent and behind-the-scenes in creative since 1995, while Pritchard has been with the company on and off since 1987. In financial news, TKO Group, the parent company of WWE, announced its 2024 quarter three earnings yesterday. Revenue of WWE and UFC combined was reported at $681.2 million, up 52% from quarter two. Of that total, $326.3 million was from WWE. Net income was $57.7 million, an increase of $35.7 million from quarter two. $51.6 million of that income came from WWE. Said chairman and CEO of TKO, Ari Emanuel, quote, 
TKO's solid third quarter results reflect continued strength across UFC and WWE, particularly in live events and brand partnerships, end quote. And finally, in ratings news, Monday Night Raw drew 1.465 million viewers to USA Network, according to Programming Insider. That's up from last week's audience of 1.401 million. The rating in the 18-49-year-old to 49 year old demographic was a .48, also up from last week's demo rating of .42. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and 7 days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The Wrestling News can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the Wrestling News across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.